through a stretch in December where both our starting post players were out. Um, and the nice thing during that period is some of our younger post players played well and got some good experience. But then our returners come back, and now you got five or six guys who want to play and who are hoping to play and expecting right. to play, and it's hard to get all of them out. We, we lost our rhythm there for a while. We lost four out of five, but we, we got a win on Saturday. We play Manchester tomorrow at home and just hoping we got four regular seed games left before the conference tournament, so hopefully we can get things going in the right direction and, and really pick up some momentum going into the tournament. Well, we're talking about the conference tournament. It was at six teams. Now they've expanded it to eight because of, of COVID, and then they added in the power ranking into what's going on to seed the tournament, and that still puts you in a very good position uh, for the HDAC tournament. I got to be honest, was I glad they went to eight because then I kind of felt like, hey, we're definitely going to get in. <laughs> um, and all you need is a chip and a chair, right, in a conference yeah, tournament. So, uh, But in our league this year, I mean, Hanover is really good, and they've had a great year, and they're doing really well. But other than that, everybody can beat everybody. And like I said, as long as we get in the tournament, we feel like we have a chance to win it. And I just hope this last four games we can pick up some momentum and play our best basketball. We're, we're going to be down one again tomorrow with Dylan Duff. He broke his nose on Saturday. Yep. Um, so he's going to be out for probably about a week. Um, but, again, I tell the guys all the time, one door closes, others open for other guys, and um, hopefully some guys will take advantage of that. Well, we've been really impressed with your freshman class. I, th I, I think some of the guys you've added in, footwork is very good. They're very athletic. Uh, and it seems like a really good group of guys that you had a chance to do that. And, and what people don't realize, and, and again, we're talking to our local fans here at Terre Haute North, you recruit nationally. And, and not just our local guys, but you have players from multiple states that you have to uh, you know, make contact with and get those guys to, to come in. And, and that has to be uh, it, it, sometimes fun, but it's also a struggle when you have to travel different places to, to recruit. It's, it's literally like recruiting at a Division I school. Yeah, we, we always say we're looking for the needle in the haystack when it comes to the academic side of things and the basketball side of things. And, you know, our freshman class has five, five different states. Um, so we, we did go out and recruit those guys nationally, you know, Simon Blair's from Oklahoma and Henry's from uh, Illinois. Eddie Simon is from uh, the St. Louis area. So we do go out and recruit guys from a long way away. And like you said, I think our freshman class can be really good. They just, they're freshmen. You know, they're 18 year olds and they still need to put some strength on. I think, you know, their, their development physically will be a huge part of their development as players. Um, but we really like what we got in those guys. And um, they just need experience and they've gotten some this year because of the COVID issues but some because they played well. When you play well, you get more opportunities, and I'm excited to see those guys grow throughout their four years. Well, again, you're right in the thick of things. It's going to be a great finish to the season. We wish you the best. We'll see you tomorrow evening, and again, you'll be able to watch that Rose-Hulman game live here on Indiana Sports Network.